Hey guys, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay to talk to you about some of the basics of getting started sewing with your brother SE400 sewing and embroidery machine. For turning on your sewing machine, you'll first want to plug all of the wires in and then you will flip the switch which is on the bottom right hand side of your sewing machine. You will know that the machine has turned on once the screen pops up with all of your thread options as well as the needle will end up moving left to right. Next, grab a spool of thread that you want to use and place it on the thread bar which is located on the top of your sewing machine followed by the thread stopper to hold it in place. Now to wind your bobbin you're going to want to pull the thread and then you're going to pull it through the little silver part at the back of the machine which is step one and then you're going to go to step two and put the thread behind this little white clip thing. Next you will continue with the thread around the little silver circle on the top of the machine, going around the right side of the hook, doing a half turn, and then going around the left side of the circle. Next, grab your empty bobbin, place it onto your bobbin winder, and grab your thread, pulling it from the back side around to your front, and then down into the groove. Once that's done, you will pull the whole bobbin winder to the right side. This step will make it so the sewing machine will no longer have the needle go up and down and it knows that we're going to wind a bobbin instead. Then just put your foot on the pedal and the bobbin will start to wind. While doing this, your machine will read winding bobbin thread. And when you are done, it will stop and bring back the page of all of the thread options. Next, grab a pair of scissors and snip your thread. And then take the bobbin from the right side, pushing it to the left and then pulling the bobbin upward to release from the sewing machine. To load your bobbin into the sewing machine, you're going to want to use your finger and pull the little release action button, pulling it to the right. This will pop up the little door and you will want to take that door and put it to the side. Next, grab your wound bobbin, making sure the thread is facing towards your left and drop it into the bobbin case. Having the thread in your left hand and holding the bobbin with your right, you're going to pull the thread to the very bottom part, following the track upwards to the top and then around to the left side and pull. At this point, your thread should snip off and you are good. Now grab your little door and have it where the little notch is facing towards the left Put that side in first, and then you should be able to easily put the right side down to close the bobbin case. To change the foot of the sewing machine, just press the little black button on the back, and this will release the foot. I also find that not having your foot attached to the sewing machine makes it easier for you to change out your sewing needle, but is not necessary. Now let's talk about how to insert a sewing needle into your machine. For this, I'm going to be using a universal sewing machine needle. Your sewing machine needles will be round on one side with a color band, and then on the opposite side will be flat. For inserting the needle into the machine, you're going to do it in the location around number six, and it will go inside with the flat part facing back away from you. Pushing the needle up as far as it'll go, and then you will tighten the screw to hold it in place. And then we're going to replace our foot pedal by holding the black button, pushing the foot up, and then releasing the black button, and this will hold your new foot in place. Now let's talk about how to thread your sewing machine. For this, we're going to be following all of the steps that are actually printed on the sewing machine. This is steps one through nine. For us, our spool of thread is already in place, so we're going to continue from that point, putting it back through the silver part at step one, following around step two of going behind the little white nook thing. Then you will pull the thread forward to the front of the sewing machine, then downward to step three, following around the bottom part of step three, you are then going to go back up the sewing machine 
going to the right side for step four, following the top around to the left. This is gonna make it so it hooks the thread onto the little silver hook inside the machine. And then you are going to follow it back down from the left side down the machine to step five. For step six, there is a little silver hook that you're going to insert the thread into, which will then lock it in place. And you will follow the thread to step seven, going through the middle of the two silver pieces and then around the plastic part of seven. Towards the left side of the machine, you will then bring the thread to part eight, which then will snip your thread. All that's left now is to push down the lever on the left side of the machine, which is step nine, and this will have the machine pull the thread through your sewing needle and completing your threading of your sewing machine. To start sewing, you're gonna to wanna to first grab any type of fabric that you want, and you're going to place it underneath the needle and the foot. And to lower your foot, you're going to pull the lever under the sewing machine down. This is going to drop your foot onto your fabric and help to hold it in place. And this wonderful machine has tons and tons of different thread options, so definitely go through and use the arrows to find which stitch you want to use. Once you select your thread, your needle will then probably move left or right to recenter for this type of stitching. And for lowering your needle, this wonderful sewing machine has a little button that all you have to do is press and the needle will drop inside the sewing machine through your fabric so you can start sewing. For sewing, I recommend using both of your hands for guiding your fabric and then just press the foot pedal down and you are good to go. Once you are done sewing, you have a wonderful cutting thread option on your sewing machine. Press the button and this will automatically cut your thread on the top part as well as cut your thread from the bobbin. To remove your fabric from the sewing machine, raise the foot pedal up using the lever and then you can take your fabric and you're all good! Thanks guys for watching my very first sewing video and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, press the subscribe button, let me know what you think in the comments, and yeah, I will see you for our next video. Much love guys! Mwah!